My name is Preet Tofer. I am a medical student from Estonia and I am the current Regional Director for Europe in the International Federation of Medical Students Associations. I have and WHO go way back. We are in official relations with WHO and we have a lot of collaboration going on. So every year uh, we send a large delegation of medical students to the World Health Assembly. We also send medical students to all the regional committees, including the Regional Committee for Europe. In addition to that, we participate in different WHO processes and expert groups and similarly WHO comes to us to participate in our meetings and contribute in that way. Partnering with WHO has been throughout a positive experience for us. I mean, thanks to WHO, we get all these opportunities to participate in decision-making processes and to talk with other civil society members and with governments. Some people have viewed us as a coordinator. However, what I believe is true is that a lot of civil society organizations that came to the regional committee last year and in pre previous years have begun to realize that if we want some change to happen, we have to find things that we agree on so that we find a mutual stance to present to all the member organizations in the plenary. This year we went in with a real desire to find a compromise and what we found was a group of other NGOs equally willing to compromise. So what we ended up with was a number of joint statements. It's really important for civil society to be able to agree on its demands on these big issues that we fight towards. And it's because these problems are really vast and they are very difficult to tackle. And if we want governments to do something about these problems, it's important that we give them a coherent message because it's all too easy to do a lot of partial solutions, but what we need for these problems is a fully thought out solution. What are the chances that we might be able to tackle these major health issues without partnerships? Probably zero or slim on a good day. If we are going to achieve the 2030 Agenda, we really don't just need to step up the financing, we also need to step up the collaboration. And a part of that is engaging civil society more in all processes that gear towards the development of our nations. There's only one way to transform our world, and that is by breaking the status quo. And there's a reason why the status quo is so hard to break, is because it's comfortable, you know, people feel safe doing what they've always done. But if we want governments and really everyone else to come out of their comfort zones, then we need that extra push. And that push can really only come from civil society working together. Parem tervis kõigile!